Elizabeth Tsolkov, no stranger to the Shiite and Kurdish community in the Middle East, is being held in captivity by Kataib Hezbollah, an Iraqi paramilitary organization backed by Iran. Tsolkov was captured in the Kurdish part of Baghdad in March, the Israeli Prime Minister's office said on Wednesday. She holds Israeli and Russian passports and entered Iraq using her Russian one, since Israeli passports are not accepted there. Surkov has a passion for academia and intended to do research for Princeton University in the United States, where she is a doctoral student. Her master's degree in Middle Eastern studies is from Tel Aviv University. Her expertise? Syria, Iraq, and the Shia. This was not her first trip to Iraq, and she knew of the dangers. In a tweet that is no longer available on her Twitter profile, she referred to a similar abduction case of an Israeli citizen who had crossed into Syria. In general, I am against prisoner deals, even if I get into trouble on my next visit to Syria or Iraq. But since this is Israel's policy, quick action was correct. Turkov reportedly immigrated to Israel from Russia at age four, moved to the settlement of Kfar Elad in the southern West Bank, protested against the peace process with the Palestinians as a child, but later changed her political views during her army service. The 37-year-old has spent 10 years working with human rights organizations in Israel and the Middle East. Here, she's speaking to I-24 News in 2014 about the government's plans to imprison illegal African immigrants. It's definitely symbolic, and I think it shows the way Israel is uh, seeing uh, human rights uh, as an issue that is divided between the, the left and right, and because right now the right is in control, uh, human rights are being trampled. And this is not the case worldwide, where human rights are really an issue of consensus. Israel is conducting behind-the-scenes negotiations in an attempt to bring about her release.